Hello everyone. In this recording, I want to focus on why I think Dallas and Irving will be the future home for events and esports. To understand this, let's go ahead and look at the Los Angeles Convention Center. This is where E3 is hosted. Assuming I punched in the numbers right, I combined AB, uh, I think it was CD, and GHJK. If I am correct, the total square feet is 579,135. K Bailey, which is in Dallas, is 724,526. So this alone already has more capacity than even the Los Angeles Convention Center. If you look at F Hall, it's 203,000 square feet. At Los Angeles Convention Center, it takes A and B just to even get more capacity than that. So this is already a pretty crazy convention center. Then to add to that, the Irving Convention Center happens to be 15 minutes up the road from K. Bailey. The Irving Convention Center, while smaller, at only 18,862 square feet, it is a lot cheaper. I looked into this for a company a while back, and I can't remember the exact numbers, but I remember it being around $7,000 for both A and B. That's something that a small company can afford, such as uh, Indie Game uh, Studios. So if they can't afford this, then they can go to the Irving Convention Center, and they happen to be right next to each other. It would be beyond possible to run a simultaneous event, i.e. you have like, a, let's say, a AAA game expo, happening here, and then maybe an indie game studio uh, thing going on over here. That's entirely possible given how short of a distance they are from each other. That's just the total square feet though. Now we need to look at hotels and public transit. I think I mentioned it in the DreamHack Dallas recording I did a while back, but I don't trust the Dart. The Dart goes through parts of Dallas that either are questionable or unsafe for people who are new to the city or uh, don't understand how public transit works. The dark gets very confusing very quickly with all of its different colored lines and things like that. So I'm only going to be looking at the TRE and TX. You'll notice that the TRE goes all the way from TNP Station, which is Fort Worth, downtown Fort Worth, uh, all the way up to Dallas Union Station, which is the very edge of Dallas. Dallas Union Station is about 0.4 miles walk from the K. Bailey Hutchinson Convention Center. That's not a huge distance for somebody to cover. If people really don't want to walk that and they really want to brave the DART, though, you can connect with the DART either at Victory or Dallas Union Station and take it directly to K. Bailey. As far as uh, the TX is concerned, this happens to be a connection from DFW Airport Terminal B all the way down to the TNP station, which we saw right here in the map. So already the TRE and TX work together to connect you from the airport uh, to K Bailey and the various hotels. I'm very happy now that we have this rail because it means a bit more of safety for people who um, are just visiting here for their first time. Okay, uh, last thing I'll cover is the tickets. The TRE, TEX, and DART share the exact same ticket. So that means the $12 you spend on an all-day regional ticket applies to all three trains and their buses. It's very easy to make a connection if you plan things out correctly. Okay, with the whole rail system covered, let's go ahead and talk about the hotels. Uh, I made a Google document for listing the hotels for uh, Dream Act House, and they apply here as well. But um, I do remember that there was a Holiday Inn here uh, near Richland Hills, and then there was Holiday Inns out here towards the Irving side. The most expensive Holiday Inn was the one over here 
and the Irving area at $110 a night. It really is not that much. And expensive is in quotations for that because 110 is pretty affordable. Um, if you're looking for something a little bit more than that though, there is a Marriott over here, I think it, uh, it is, by um, Central Port. If I'm remembering correctly, the Marriott is the one that got renovated recently. It has an indoor pool and a few other things like that. Uh, it came out to, I believe it was 150 a night at the wars. Then if you're looking for something a little bit more luxury, you could stay at the uh, Gable or Texan, which is within range of the Grapevine Main Street Station. Unfortunately, no buses cover that. That means you would have to use an Uber or something to make it out there and to come back to the Grapevine Station. If you can afford the Gaylord Texan though, um, I guess it's not much of a problem. I just would have preferred it to be easier than that. Then, um, of course, if worse comes to worse, you can always look at the hotels in downtown Fort Worth, which are gonna be very expensive. If you're willing to brave uh, the dart and staying in Dallas, then there's an Omni within walking distance of the K Bailey as well. So that's all, their, all the hotels and tr public transportation. So now that I've covered the various reasons as to why I'm thinking that this will be the future home, let's discuss why it hasn't yet. I think part of the problem is because it's taken a long time for the DFW area to catch up to the other cities. There are still parts of Dallas-Fort Worth that have DSL connection. As a matter of fact, the Irving Convention Center doesn't even have fiber, to my knowledge. That's kind of the problem with this area. Other states have invested heavily into fiber optic networks and all that. So it will take time for this area to catch up because of that. The other issue, I think, is um, just the politicians down here. I believe we share a common problem with other states in which that they claim to listen to you, but they really don't. There are things that they that can be done to fix this issue, um, but I doubt that they're going to be taken um, seriously. One of those ways is to just create their own ISP. Texas is unique in that it has a home rule law. I forget the specific requirements for home rule law, but what it boils down to is it allows a city to override the state government. There's a city near Houston called Mont Bellevue. Mont Bellevue used home rule law to create their own ISP. Mont Bellevue has a population of, I think, around 8,000, and it has gigabit fi uh, fiber. The thing that I like about this is not only was Mont Bellevue successful in using home rule law, but also in the fact that the ISP is municipal based meaning that you go through the city for your internet, rather than a company. In a way, this makes it easier to vote on it and know what's going on. Perhaps the other cities in DFW can follow suit. I have reached out to Irving with all the documentation related to that, uh, the same things I'm sharing here on YouTube, and I also shared similar with Dallas. We'll see if they take me seriously, uh, uh, but uh, until then, I'm going to hope that companies will either notice this or uh, hear me out in what I'm saying. It's the most I have. Thanks for listening.